This is a video about the MBT-70 that I'm standing on top of it at Danbury, Connecticut. This is one of the sole, two sole surviving examples in the United States that I know about. It may be possible that the Germans have an example, but I don't know. They have never mentioned whether they have one or not, or if they scrapped any of theirs or not. And if anybody's ever inferred that this type of tank is a failure, I think the person's a fool. Because I think this is part of an, an important evolutionary link in American and even German tank development. <clears throat> the neat thing about this is that it crouches and probably remains static. And then she stands and runs like this. Here's a mock-up of what I think, I'm going to try and demo what the tank does. Here's a position of road wheels in a crouching position. And then the road wheels push out all the way up. And then she's in a deployment or maneuvering or running position. And they're out like this. The Aberdeen piece has a Charlie horse. It's like all of the, the ones at Aberdeen are in this position. And then there's one road wheel that's in this position. So it's kind of graphic depiction of how it looks, <laughs> in fact. You'd have to go look yourself. You know, if you go to Aberdeen and go here, you can make an assessment of what kind of technology this is. Well, this is Patrick ending the presentation about the MBT-70. End transmission!